Hi there. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Billy Lee. And I am the kid, a.k.a. Swizer, and this is... Billy. And the kid, brought to you by Jam in the Van. We did it. We did it. We're doing it. We're literally doing it right now. It's yeah. happening. It's literally <laughs> happening right fucking now, dude. How stoned are you? <laughs> I'm so fucking high, but like I need to be this high because I'm like too excited. I like needed. I'm like chilled out right now. I know. I feel like I need to smoke, but I'll wait till after. Wait, cause... wait a little bit because you get weird. I get weird. Yeah. I get... Billy gets weird. <laughs> Billy gets fucking weird, dude. Billy definitely get, has a moment like when she first gets high where she's weird. Then you settle into it, but you yeah. do get your weird. No, I really do. I, I get. But I know how to like read you, so I get it. Like I'll look at you and you'll be like. Like, sometimes if I'm in public, I literally, like, don't talk to me. It's just because I'm stoned. <laughs> like, if people think, like... And I'm, like, kind public, and I'm, like, talk to me. I want to talk to everybody. Oh, yeah, talk she'll talk to everyone. But most some people will be, like, oh, Billy's kind of rude, or Billy's just, like, not talking to me. Oh, you just it's don't make I'm eye contact stoned. when you're high, dude. Yeah, yeah. When you take an edible, Billy... No. Stranger danger. Stranger fucking that is danger. That what I say When you take time. an edible and go in public, you have the worst stranger danger. Yeah, yeah. Stranger you like cannot danger. handle it. Dude, yeah, <laughs> I'm so excited for our first guest for today's podcast. Yeah, me too. We have very special comedian, Sarah Weinshank. She's hilarious. She's a queen. We love her. She's so talented. She's so fucking cool, dude. I love She's her. She's funny. And then we have one of my besties, Tom Sandoval. Yeah. So every yeah. episode, we're basically going to try and have comedian and a reality star slash tv personality and just get like a cool conversation going yeah because i don't really know anything about reality tv neither do i <laughs> but i know a lot about comedy yeah wait should we introduce our first guest let's introduce our first guest yeah please do should we ring the bell for her yeah let's ring it <laughs> our first guest is a comedian and writer who who whoa that's not english <laughs> Our first guest is a comedian and writer. She hosts her own podcast, Shank, and she has another podcast with Kim Condon called This Bitch. Please welcome the very funny Sarah Wine Shank, you guys. Hi, guys. Thank Hello. you for having me. I'm so excited. The set looks amazing. You Thank look you. really good with the set. Thank you. I know. We need you here forever. Yeah. I'm part of it. You are <laughs> yeah. part of the set. I'm a fixture here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like Billy and the kid. Move to plant, dude. We're adding Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Move <to> <laughs> Sarah's getting permanently planted here. She's like a taxidermy head. So yeah. So cute. We love taxidermy yeah. comedians. We love that. Yeah. That's a, such a vibe. I know. I can't believe we're finally here. Dude, neither can I. Like, this has been a conversation for us to have this podcast. For Since I was born, and I'm 14 <laughs> years old. So 14 years ago, we had this conversation. Is that insane? Yeah, that's why she's my kid. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's been a lot of work, and and we're here. I'm so excited, it and we have you as our us. first guest. I like, know. I'm so excited to be here, you guys. We're yeah. so fucking excited to have you. You're like a dream first guest. We love you. We love your comedy. Love we love you. the pod. Excited to get into it. Yeah, we love the dogs here. There's a lot of dogs. Um, what are the barking? dog names? What are their names again? I don't know, but you. <laughs> Beetle. You remember Beetle? when I did a comedy show and there was a dog barking? Dude, that <laughs> broke your fucking brain. We did an out. Okay, me and Billy did a show outdoors, and there was a dog barking in the distance. And I saw the moment in her like eyes. She had like a that's a raven. She was like, Ooh. like she like disconnected from reality and like paused her set because the dog barking really distracted her. Well, but I yeah. saw it happen in her eyes. Sometimes that happens, like yeah. loud um, planes overhead or somebody <laughs> shouting in the distance. And it's hard because you're like, oh, no, this is fucking up my shit. Yeah, all I thought about was the it fucking dog. It broke her, dude. It literally yeah. broke her. Yeah, like, yeah. I saw her eyes like her, her eyes like glazed <laughs> over, and she was not the same. It was, you, you thought you were different after that. Yeah, no, I was. That changed you. <laughs> That broke your mind. Literally broke my mind. Have you ever had a moment like that where you like just been like, oh fuck, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Like I'm literally either it's being distracted or with stand up. Yeah. Yeah. One of the worst moments of my life. I think about it almost every day. Um, <laughs> was when I ate an edible, and Love it was that. when weed was still illegal. So I had like Strong. a a card, and um, I ate like a ten milligram gummy and. I signed up for potluck at the comedy store and I didn't think I was going to get pulled and, and I got pulled got and I did the first minute of my set normal and the last two minutes for some reason something happened 
and I did this fucking second half of my set with a southern accent. Let's <laughs> go. Okay, well, now you're like, a paid regular yeah. at the store, oh, so guess what? I do am. a southern accent for the yeah. second no, two no, minutes. No, 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 don't do the southern <laughs> don't accent. Do it. No, it was so bad that my friend was hosting, Benji Aflalo. He comes up afterward and was like, I don't know why she talked in a southern accent because she is from the valley. <laughs> like, it just happened. It just fucking happened. Oh, I was like, dude, I was so embarrassed and so stoned. I got into like a cab and went to swingers by myself. Okay, so you went like it got dark after. It that. was dark. Yeah. It got dark. It, it got was, really dark. In my head, it was dark too because I could hear it coming out, and I'm like, why is it? Why do I sound southern when I don't normally sound southern? Honestly, though, I sound like such a stoner, but like everything happens for a reason. Like that experience happened, and look where you are now. Yeah. yeah, but you know, like I feel like one of those. She's people like, it's not because of the southern accent. That There's has a million other yeah. things. <laughs> That's know? not it. <laughs> you know those people that have like strokes and then they wake up speaking another language. That's yeah. How I felt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, clearly it's working because now you're a paid regular and you're killing it. Yes, but that I've had so many moments like that. What's yeah. your favorite room at the store out of all three? Fuck Mary Kill, Belly Room, Original Room, Main Room. <sighs> I feel like I can't kill any of them because they're all good for their own different things. Okay, fine. Then sleep. Fuck, Mary, sleep. Fuck, Mary, sleep. Sleep. Okay, okay. <laughs> they're not dead. They're not okay, being. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to fuck the main room. Okay. Hot, totally. Hot. Because it's fun. Yeah, it's fuckable. It's packing. Yeah, it's packing, You know, dude. the main room, I'm fucking. I'm gonna okay, she's a size queen. She's marry. Size queen. <laughs> I'm going to marry the OR. Okay. And I'm going to put the belly room, room to time. sleep. Aww. Okay. Like, do you love the belly room at the beginning of your, like, career? And then when you move up, you're like, okay, not yes. so much. No, I still love the belly room because it's, like, where I developed. And so I have such, like, strong, happy feelings about it. Mm-hmm. We're in belly room phase. Um, yeah. Yeah, like, it feels like a safe haven. Yeah, very safe. Belly room's very safe. Um, and, like, if I needed to, like, record something, I would probably do it in that room yeah. it just feels like nurturing and like small um the or used to really scare me but now i'm like that's my room okay yeah. are you the most comfortable on that stage yeah okay fuck yeah what's your favorite stage like ever the main room of the comedy store or the comedy mothership okay comedy mothership in austin rogan's new club that's dope is really amazing oh really yeah oh, i need yeah. to check it we need out. to go do shows in austin dude we okay. need to do like a loop of shows there yeah a loop of shows is that what you say yeah we need to go do a loop of shows there a, a loop a quick loop <laughs> a quick loop a loop de loop a quick loop dude yeah we love a quick loop who doesn't yeah i'm surprised you haven't smoked a joint yet we me and sarah smoked honestly right before this yeah oh i might smoke, I might smoke again i right might now. smoke please again. light up I'm like the non-smoker kind of, but I encourage everyone to smoke. I like that. You don't have to encourage me and Sarah that hard. We'll just do it, right? (laughs) Yeah. You don't have to beg. Like, we'll do it. We've been smoking weed already for a while. Yeah, we've been smoking weed Glasses on. Yeah, glasses on. Glasses on. Well, we were just talking about this. Glasses, when you're smoking a lot, make you feel safe. Right. It's a safety thing. Like, everyone knows that I smoke weed. Everyone knows I'm high as fuck all the time, but I have the glasses on, and I'm like... People can't see my eyes or something. Even though these glasses are see-through, I'm like, I'm safe. They're covered. It does feel yeah. very, like, um, elementary school to be like, if my, if I can't, if there's something over my face, then people can't see me. But I do agree. I literally go safe. by elementary school logic. In my head, safe. I'm like, that's an adult sentence. What she just said is fucking genius, dude. That's real. Yes. That's so fucking real. Yeah, when I wear, like, a hat and sunglasses, not that I'm trying to be cognito, but I literally feel safe. Like I, I just love feel, the hat and sunglasses. Yeah, right? Yeah. You're like, who <laughs> no is one can she? See you. Dude, that's like, you, the, what, fuck, what's the show? What's the show on Netflix where the guy literally just puts on a hat and no one knows who he is? Oh, the murder guy. Yeah. Um, oh, Joe? Like, Joe, is it, is yeah, Joe's his name? Joe but like, what's the show called? Um, um, it's called Love? What is it? It's love? a one word. It is a one word. You. It's called you. you. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I'm like, let's <laughs> fucking go. This motherfucker puts on a hat and no, that's the whole storyline. He puts on a hat and like no one recognized him. Dude. He's stalking women left and right just with a baseball hat on. Like no other disguise. I started watching it that works. and then I couldn't stop watching it. And then I was like, this is a problem. It's not well written. I was devouring you like season after season. I was like, more, more, more. I didn't watch the most recent season. Me I either. gave up. What's your favorite it. show? Yeah. Like, what kind of shows do you watch regularly? I'm bad at watching shows. Like, I'm non-committal. So okay. the whole show thing. I only watch Criminal Minds and SVU on a loop. That's it. Um, Depressing. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. I'm like, can it's we watch psychotic. a rom-com? No, it's all I'll watch. When you get tired and you're, like, not paying attention, I can, like, change it to SVU. 
Yeah, I love a rom com. I haven't, seen it. I haven't seen it either. It's too mu- too many seasons for me to dive in, and like it's so intense that I just like am too busy with my own reality to like jump into another well, situation. It makes me feel smart. Like I kind of know what's happening when I'm watching it, but I don't always know what's happening. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I casually watch. It yeah. just makes you feel smart to be like, yeah, that's a show that I watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In conversation, you, like, throw people. that out. She's like, yeah, Running yeah, the I, world. I watched the session and I understand ninety nine percent of it. So, the characters you know. <laughs> are really funny in it. Okay, good. Yeah, I honestly, I don't know why I never want to watch funny shows. Maybe because I see so much funny shit in real life. Like I see live comedy every single day. That I get home and I'm like, I want someone to be fucking murdered on my TV. Yeah, screen. sometimes like if I see like or if there's stand up on like Netflix or something, I get anxiety. Cause like, oh, I'm that's like, a it's nightmare. Work. It's, it's work like, mode. I feel like it's, it's work, work mode. mode. Yeah. That's like a lawyer coming home and watching judge Judy or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. They wouldn't do that. That's, that's, that's true. very true. Actually. Right? Is the there a time coming home and watching chopped? Yeah. <laughs> Did you like have a joke about that or no? About the show. Oh, chopped? A murder or something. I have, I have some jokes about murder. Oh, okay. Uh, Sarah, is there ever a time that you like, remember that you like bombed? Like where you're like, Oh shit, that was just, Cause I have like this, I've done it a couple times in my career and I've like, you know, I think stand up sometimes you're like, I'm done. Like I'm over this. And when it's not the yeah. best time and then you have such a great show and you're like, I love this. This is amazing. It's very up and down though. Like not every set yeah. is different. No, it's so crazy. And if you hinge your happiness on your performance, then you'll never be happy because it's so hard to know. And I mean, like the longer you do it, the better chances are that you're going to have good sets. You How know? many years have you been doing it? Since 2010. So like Whoa. 14 years. Oh, yeah. wow. I was born in 2010, dude. That's literally no. insane. Yeah, That's she's insane, literally dude. like. That's insane. No. No, no, no. That's why she's born in 2012. the kid. That's why I'm the kid. People were like, how did you guys like even start this whole friendship? And yeah. I'm like. We met in the bathroom at Flappers, dude. It's, no. We were vaping in the, se- separately vaping in the bathroom at Flappers. Not in the bathroom of flappers. And dude, you know that shit smell, stinks. This bathroom smells so the bad. The scent is unreal. Dude. Yeah. <clears throat> I cannot even think about the bathroom at flappers. Yeah, it's traumatizing. I'm yeah. allergic. I'm that's so salt. crazy. That's where you guys met? That's where we met. Literally, that's where this this set came out of the bathroom at fucking flappers. I love that's that. That's literally yeah. how it happened. I love that, though. So yeah. Flappers is a crazy place. It's a crazy place. Because it, it kind of feels like a different world. It's so really? disconnected. I know. You're like, where am I? It's like, like a road club in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> the salmon? Don't sleep on the salmon at, slap, at Flappers. I'll <laughs> Don't tell you that. Don't sleep on the salmon at Ew. Slappers. How could, you slappers. Eat, how could you eat salmon like literally the way that place smells? I could never imagine eating salmon there. I ate salmon at Flappers and it was Sarah's amazing. like, I drive to Burbank and every <laughs> week to get the salmon at Flappers. No, you guys so don't true. understand. And the chicken. The chicken's really good, too. Mm. Um, during the pandemic, Christina Pazinski knew that I was obsessed with the chicken and the salmon at Flappers. And she gave me money. She was like, here, go get the chicken at Flapper. <laughs> you just like put salmon in your pockets and drove yes. home. I love that. Okay, so continuing with our first podcast, Ooh. our second ca- <laughs> <laughs> our second guest is one of my best friends, Tom Sanderval. Hey, Hi. what's up? Hey, Welcome. Mr. Tom. Me. <laughs> love you, Billy. Yeah, I love you. I'm so happy you made it. Yes, I did. Um, yeah. We yeah. have to yeah. highlight Tom's necklace. Tom's necklace is fire, dude. Thank you. Uh, Schwartz had it made for me. It's got a little, little bit of a, uh, our, uh, our, you know, it's got some mushrooms on it. Remember Whoa. when everyone got addicted to fidget spinners? Addicted, and now they're gone. Dude, they were such a thing. They were a thing. What year was that? Like 2016? I don't 2017? know. 2017? Yeah, maybe. I was like 2016. buying them off the streets. No, it was the, people were like dealing them in downtown. Yeah, it was like a thing. What about I, I used to get an spinners. eighth before weed was legal. I would get like a half an ounce of weed from my dealer and a fidget spinner. He would throw it in as an extra thing. Yeah. <laughs> No, exactly. that's insane. Your dealer threw in a fidget spinner. No, I'm spinner. kidding, dude. I'm kidding. But it was like it was basically like an illegal street. I feel like it's like the equivalent of kind of what like a Stanley Cup is right now. Just like it's like people. It's yeah. super hyped. Like people are like, yes. you got that color. You got the limited edition. Fucking is like, who cares? They're both made in a factory in China for zero dollars, and they just paint them a color, and people are like, that's really depressing. Um, really depressing. What about what is it? The, the like the little round sack thing that you would like balls. Human balls. 
<laughs> that you would like kick around. Oh yeah, hacky sack. Yeah, hacky, hacky sack. sack. Some late nineties. Yeah. You, you dropped sucker and hacky sack. Mid late nineties. Yeah, I yeah. liked it. Everybody I'd... everybody was like in the hacky sack all of a sudden. Yeah. It was like it mid early nineties, maybe. It I was, was born like in nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, wow. she's literally slip a baby. on vans and hacky sack. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was like the cool kids that smoke weed. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I want a hacky sack with the boys. <laughs> I want a hacky sack with the boys. Yeah, I would literally have a crush on those guys for sure. <laughs> you like hacky sack boys? That's your type? Yeah, or like stone. Yeah, I always liked hacky sack boys. <laughs> I was in love with Turtle from Entourage when I was in high school, dude. No. Like, no. Turtle? We must protect. I loved Turtle because I was like such a stoner in high school, and I'm like, that's the character that smokes weed. So, of course, I'm going to like him. Wow. I was really smart in 10th grade. That was my. Turn of Turtle that reminds one. me kind of Seth Rogen vibes, right? Yeah. I yeah. love your guys' uh, set. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> right? We got it's very like, high and went on Etsy for six hours. She's <laughs> all of these friends, dude. <laughs> it's totally our personality. She's like, I'm painting the surfboard. Yeah. Wait, you know, that was Billy did like, shout out to the fucking surfboard. Yeah. Good job, Billy. Yeah, I like, picked it up at 7 a.m. in LA Such traffic. A I sanded Today? it. Today? No, not today. Okay. This has been but her like, like project. Though. There was wax all over it because you have to wax it. So I like sanded it and it took me for like two hours to get that off. Then I painted it. Like, this is my surfboard. And when I came in here, like, it really wasn't on display. I would just like I to state like, for the record, what? I did nothing. No. I did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I did not help. I did nothing. I was like, this fucking surfboard will be front and center. Oh, yeah. The surfboard, <laughs> that's your child. Yeah. You're that, yeah, literally. you literally birthed the fucking surfboard. Dude. It looks amazing. It looks you great. It. it looks great. Should we do this segment of Addiction of the Week? Addiction of the Week. The addiction of All right, the you week. guys. This is our first fucking Let me segment. guess. Yours is weed. Yeah. Mine's, is, mine's <laughs> That's the... Uh, Tom had a pretty good guess. Tom might have guessed mine. Weed. Tom was like, accurate. what's the budget for the weed here? <laughs> this is the budget. Here. This is the weed budget. Holy fuck. Yeah, I remember when I first met you, you had one of those things. Dude, this thing is always attached to me. That's a that lot my, of my, fucking 90% weed, of my dude. Personal, I I'm going to be like high as shit just sitting Tom, in your I know. I'm just bugging, dude. Yeah. I don't even like... I don't smoke weed. I, I can drink... Like Same amount of smoke weed. These are your props, Anybody under the table, but like real. one hit of weed, I'm done. In five minutes, Tom is going to be paranoid as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> high right now. It's fine. Everyone's going to be get silent. Yeah, too. you're a chill, high person. Like, I, yeah, I like same. get high I get and, so and do errands. Sa yeah. I love getting high and Shut doing errands. Shut the fuck up, dude. That's a Valley Girl thing, though, because that's yeah. my number one favorite. I'm better at that than anything in the world. Catch me at the car wash. Catch Don't me at fun. fucking CVS, scared <laughs> yeah. waiting in line, dude. That's my spot. Okay, so addiction of the week. Clearly, mine is the surfboard. The Yours surfboard. is the surfboard. Honestly, obviously, mine is weed every week. I think mine is the song "Never Lose You" by Flo Millie. Really? Yeah, That's what you're listening to every never, day. Never, never, you guys know that song? No. We have to edit that shit in, dude. We're I'm like a different generation. I feel like literally. I'm like obsessed. A Gen Z. I'm, I'm so Gen Z. I'm obsessed with that fucking song right now. Heard it's, my it's idiotic. It's a stupid song, but it's so fucking fire. You've heard it subconsciously. I've played it and you don't realize. It's in the back <laughs> files of your brain. I was going to say her and my vagina get, a, get along really well because they're both Gen Z. We're both Gen Z. <laughs> 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 they're both <laughs> <They're> under <laughs> like, yeah. I joke around. I'm always like in my set and shit too. Like I joke around. I'm like, I'm like a 14 year old stoner boy. But like, I feel like people actually sometimes believe that when I say it. Mm hmm. You're like, oh, she, maybe she's age 14. <laughs> I'm like, I have too much lip filler to be 14, you fucking idiot. Like, absolutely you have not. lip filler? Yeah. That's so disgusting. You have no work done, right? <laughs> I'm all natural. I know. That's what I love that you're so natural. It's so nice. Uh, Sarah, what's your addiction of the week? My addiction of the week. Um, I'm going to go with the classic Alfred coffee. Let's fucking Alfred go. Coffee? Alfred okay. coffee, oat milk latte with a little bit of cinnamon on top. Okay, that's, that's your exact order. What size? Um, the medium. Okay. I used to be addicted to Alfred. I'm addicted, yeah, but I, I lived right next to it, and I was there for like every day for two years. And now I like. <laughs> you're like talking. You're it. talking about it like you're like sober off, and you're like, yeah, uh, <laughs> literally. I no, I've been, so, I've been sober off uh, Matcha Latte for 48 <laughs> days, six hours. Really itching for Alfred. Yeah. It's so good. It's so fucking good. And Tom, have you ever been to what? Alfred's? Alfred. No. He, I have never been to I Alfred. Know. Tom, never to Tom, he's never been to Air One. Really weird. You've never been to that's so. You never been to Alfred or Air One. No. You've never been to Air One. No. I, well, I have an assistant, so they grocery shop for me. Okay, but yeah. you have you, you had both of them. I don't the experience. The, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to. 
You need the experience, no, Tom. We're gonna this take is MCA. blowing my mind. <laughs> we're going to take... Yeah, if, anyway, never, it, and the hat is never. the easiest and I'm disguise, there all the so time. you're fine. Wait, this is blowing my mind. Sarah's like not okay. Shop. I'm Sarah's not, not okay. okay. How long Sarah's have you lived okay. in L.A.? Uh, long time. Your entire life? No. Like, since 2005. Also, what? Tom has like his set things that he likes. Like yeah. his grocery Are you list very doesn't OCD about like your my stuff. I eat like a dog, so like, <laughs> like Tom my is groceries. eating ground beef out of a bowl when no one's watching. Literally, literally, I eat like the same thing unless I order food. That's like when I get my little changes because I like instant you know. gratification. Like I don't like to have to when I'm you hungry like stop comedy. cook food, dirty a bunch of dishes, do this whole thing, and then it's like, you know, two hours out of my day. Like I want to be able to like you know, order food, forget about it. It shows up. I eat it. I'm done. So if it's not that, and I'm on like my normal diet, I have my things that work for me, that satisfy me, that keep me like lean. And like, He's you know, especially regimented. like when I'm, yeah, well, space was invented for Tom is what I'm thinking. From this. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, like I, I just don't feel like, I don't know. Like I don't, I don't really want to go into like a store and look around and just. You gotta go. You gotta wait go. Dude, I like, love getting so no, high and looking not. in the grocery store. That's such a fun activity. Yeah. I, um, I like getting high and going to look at Sephora. Oh, that sounds like an absolute nightmare to me. Sephora faded is going different. going into a That's grocery lit. store high. Like, uh, I mean, I'll just be there. Like, no, I don't like doing a high. What type I of high person are you? Talking? Yeah. What type of high Tom, person are you? Like, are you chill or you get scared? Like, do you like? I mean, to be I high get a little like. Bed, I don't. Like be socially high. I don't feel like I have like swagger when i'm like high you know what i mean like when mm -hmm. i have a few drinks i feel like you know i'm in my element I, you know i got i got a little i got a little swagger i'm like feeling comfy you know high i'm just like so you do like everyone's high? watching they yeah. know <laughs> they, everybody knows I'm really high right now throw uh, back a drink and go <clears throat> to erwan okay yes dude they Okay, she's right. right. That's I'll how check we get it out. in there. Yeah. Maybe that oh, will be Sarah's a genius. Maybe that, that will be my addiction for next week. Yo! Yeah. Yeah. Tom's already planning his next addiction. We got him addicted to being addicted. <laughs> okay, so addiction of the week. Addiction of the week. Obviously, we know next week is uh, the grocery store. Air one. Air one for Tom. <laughs> yes. Um, but what is this week's addiction? This week, uh, my addiction of the week is... Probably, uh, <laughs> you better be dead serious. He's laughing. Wait, <laughs> you wait, are so wait, sneaky. He's laughing. Look at the flowers right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. I know who got those for you. I know. <laughs> so I, have I would say, I would say my addiction of the week is definitely, uh, my, my friend, uh, Victoria that I've been hanging out with. She's <laughs> super awesome. She's one of the sweetest people. She's like, I've obviously like, I've known her for like a super long time, but, um, we went on our first date last night. It was awesome. It was very adventurous. A little crazy. Uh, <laughs> is it Victoria like Victoria's Secret? Is that, that the Victoria? Uh, she is a model. She's not, yeah, it's not she's from like Victoria's Secret, model. but she's gorgeous. She's a model. Okay, yeah, she works job. a lot and she is very, she's very successful and uh, does well for herself. And, she, you know, but she's also very humble and really cool and just a really sweet, thoughtful person. Like, I, I'm actually battling like a, sore throat right now because i meet like a hundred people a day you know yeah. going into schwartz and sandy's and the tom tom it's like you know you take pictures with people people like are excited they want to talk to you they want to <clears> tell their <throat> stories about you know everything and obviously i want to talk to people and socialize with them so also the, you enjoy giving heads so i'm sure down yeah, there true, all the time <laughs> <laughs> It's I'm drawn to the there. squishy mushroom. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'm really into the squishy right now. I'm yeah. really feeling it. Yeah. I'm like up here obsessed with this. Um, but I just want to say those flowers, literally I had the worst day. She got her car broken into and she, everything's stolen out of her car. In Tom's, in Tom's uh, driveway. Like two days ago. Yeah. Two days ago. Fresh, my computer, so all my up. makeup, everything was no. stolen. So While like, we were getting ready for this too. So it was a bunch of like. It was just such a crazy like week. Stuff. And then I come back to Bad his house. <laughs> I go back to his house and Victoria literally has those flowers waiting for me and the cutest card yeah. saying that I'm sorry you had a bad day and I hope this makes you smile. Oh, I was she like, got you. I didn't, even, yes. I didn't even get her flowers. Do you know dude? how much like that? That's like, nice. Damn. That, like, That's nice. That shit turns me on so much. Like sweet, nice people like that. Like it's like, I'm just like, like. You would like grandmas. They're all very sweet and nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying though. It's just like. Yeah. It's no, really, she's. Really, she's so sweet and thoughtful. It's funny. Like we're both like. 
we both do weird stuff like that too like because we're we seem to be very similar in a lot of ways we're both like kind of like spontaneous adventurous and like a little like we push it we push it to the max sometimes uh and um but also you know we both like to do things like that and uh (laughs) it's funny like her dad's sick and she was not feeling well either so like i had already had like soup sent to her house and like as as she's having flowers set to mine for uh for billy what kind of what kind of soup chicken noodle okay yeah and like that's the thing is like i feel like (laughs) josh and i talked about this earlier josh is his cousin um and he's my assistant right now as well and i love it as soon as i heard josh was coming back i was so excited but um but we were talking about how like people have this perception that Tom is an asshole and he's like literally one of the sweetest guys that I know. Thanks, Billy. You're so, so you. caring You're and sweet. So sweet. you literally take care of all your friends. You make sure everyone's taken care of, like you show up for them, you support them. And it just bothers me <clears throat> when people just have this like perception because of this one thing that you did that you fucked up on. Like, and we're not even going to go into it, but like, damn. It's maybe not the only thing I fucked up on, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, was my, that was my first mistake ever, yeah, guys. Yeah, but that's why it's cool that you can like acknowledge wow. that, dude. And like, anytime like I've ever fucking seen you, you're beyond nice. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're excited to see everyone and you're social and you're easy and chill to talk to. Like. Yeah, thanks. you're never a dick to anyone. Like, everyone's like, wow, he, Tom's so cool. He's so nice. I'm like, Tom's yeah. so cool. Look at his necklace. It has mushrooms on it. He must be chill. <laughs> <laughs> a guy that's not chill would not wear a glass mushroom necklace. Yeah. Come on. So far, Tom's pretty chill. Hey, so thanks. far, Tom's pretty chill. Yeah, chill, man. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. The only thing not chill is that you have a bag of cough drops that's kind of making you look like a little nerd. I know, <laughs> He's a bag of cough drops. I have two shows tomorrow, and I like woke up with this like weird sore throat. I feel fine You're physically. sucking too much dick at Tom Tom's, dog. That's why. You know, <laughs> he's like, fuck. Me. There's no yeah. video evidence of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I. Um, You're banned, right? You have a show. Yeah, we have two shows this weekend at um at the. Oh gosh, dang it! Man, I'm embarrassed. Oh, it's in Sacramento. It's in Sacramento. Really excited. Billy knows this the weekend. Show schedule. Well, I literally see back to back Friday yeah. and Saturday, and uh, but my throat's a little sore. I'm feeling a little weird, and uh, yeah. Sarah, Love do you this. have any cool shows coming up? Uh, yeah. I just got thrown off though, but um, <laughs> <laughs> well, like, what day Called is it? And who am I? No, yeah, I yeah. have no clue what day it is. Um, I don't yeah. know who this is. I don't know what's going on, dude. <laughs> We're doing this bitch and friend show main room of the comedy store on March 14th. Oh my God. What? We'll be there. Yeah. We'll yeah. fucking be there. Yeah. And hundred percent. We will be there. As well. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be so much fun. Yeah. 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 We'll definitely come out and hang at that. It'll be a great lineup. We and went then, to hang uh, the other night at the Barbie show and it was super fun. Oh, oh so yeah, fun. the Barbie show. It was cool. Oh, that was really I like it that was like flyer. literally the Barbie show and we, it was the lineup was all girls, women, and, and one, one Ken, guy Ken. Adam Ray was Ken. It was which is like really funny. literally the opposite of what most lineups are because usually well, it's all most men. Booking, yeah. It's like there's one or two slots out of seven or eight for like it's harder for women to get on dude like if all the slots are for men they're like we'll give one or two to like a woman not even if it's intentional then mm-hmm. all the girls have to kind of prove it for that one spot i feel like yeah yeah is that why was that really like i mean i know it's d- definitely more like men in it or whatever problem i guess whatever but is it this is like really that? deep this sentence I'm like, <laughs> yeah i'm i feel I'm like nervous as i like i feel stupid but is that like kind of like how it is like, I didn't know that. Like, normally a bunch of men. Y- yeah, Yeah, because right. yeah, it's, like, it's very, definitely. like, the entertainment industry, it, it's it's very male-dominated. And so they There are a lot more female comics know. coming up right now, yeah, I feel like, course. though. But well, it's in general. behind. I've noticed no, it's, it's behind. No, it's so behind. It's more yeah, than indie, any industry. Yeah, it's I'm like, very behind. What? It's crazy behind. And I get, like, so mad and triggered when I see all men on a lineup. Like, I literally want to DM them and be like, where the fuck are the women? <laughs> like, I yeah. get... But then fucked I'm like, up. I'm not going to have a career up. if I do that. It's a nice little split, you know? It is far behind. Yeah. It's no, shitty. It's, it's so far behind. It's really crazy. It's I mean, I feel like I feel like you would want a nice little split. So it's like, because of your audience. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just dudes going to fucking. Talking about their experience. Yeah, that's why yeah. everyone should come to the Swizer show on March 6th in the belly room of the Let's comedy go. store. Because it's a super diverse lineup. There's Let's go. women Let's on go. it. What? Yeah, there's women. And, yeah. um. I will say this too, though. Like, whenever I've ever done an all women show, it's always sold out and it's fucking really good vibes. Like, it is always really fun vibes. Yeah. 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 Agree. Okay, you guys. I think we should play a little game. Okay. Let's play Fuck, Mary, Kill. Okay. Like, Fuck, Mary, Kill is my favorite game, but I play it with like silly shit. Like, you don't always have to play it with people. 
we'll be in the car and she'll like literally be like, fuck, Mary, kill restaurants. And I'm like, shut up and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I do fuck, Mary, kill She's with standing everything. up in the car? No. I just, Usually. <laughs> with a dog, yeah. She's, oh, my God. Oh, I miss the dogs. I know. I want to bring the dogs oh God, in the next episode. Yeah, we will. Okay, okay. okay. We have to bring them here. For There's two chairs. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, fuck, Sarah. Mary, no. Yeah. Fuck, Mary, kill. Yeah. Joe Rogan, Bob Ross, Bobby Lee. Whoa. Yeah, that's um, a mind fuck. I knew that would you, get to you. Can you say it again? Slower. Yeah. Joe Rogan. Uh-huh. Bob Ross. Uh-huh. Painting Man. Uh-huh. Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee. I'm killing <laughs> Bob Ross. Oh, okay. He's got to go. Okay, yeah, he's got to go. Boring. He's got to go. There's something off with him. There's something I off. Found he's out a pedophile. That he's, been he's a bit too close. Hair. He's a bit too close with the paintbrush. Is, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he it's does with like, that. It's just like, ugh. Agree. Hey. His time is up. This is making sense. His time is happy up. Little accidents. <laughs> His time is up, dude. No, I don't you know. You might make a happy little accident on your, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's, he's gone. He's dead. He comes he's on dead. you and he says, that's not a mistake. That's a happy little accident. Like, <laughs> ew, Bob accident. Ross has come on me. Bob Ross co- just comes paint, dude. Ew, that's what I was thinking. Titanium. I, color. I also thought that. I think yeah. Bob Ross comes colorful paint. He jizzes in color. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Wait, he, I want, his an, image, I want a his rainbow image edited. I want a rainbow edited right in, in front of your hands. very eyes. Rainbow with sparkles edited in everyone's hands. Everyone do it. Okay, well, Bob well, Ross be, is it dead. Will, She's it might so be high. funnier. It might be funnier if they actually don't edit it because then we all just look really stupid doing this. It's just really funny in her head because she said it is funny in my head. Okay, sorry. Um, continue. Oh, whoa! This is weird. I wait. I, for, I realized I have to fuck somebody. Yeah. It Do can, I want to fuck Bobby Lee? It, I feel the, like you I would because like, he like I feel like would get it down. He's naked on stage half of the time. He's pulling it out all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I'm marrying Rogan. Okay, he's the homie and we're friends. And okay, it's easy. fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good answer. Love that. Yeah. Okay. What do you have for Tom? No, you have it. You have it. You're the one that created it. No. The fuck Mary Kill is literally her thing. You're doing it. You want me to do both of them? Yeah, because it's your. That's like your. I don't know who any of these bitches are. Tom, ready? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean. I know that they're names, but I don't know what the names mean. We'll see by your fucking reaction. Fuck, Mary kill. Sheena, Lala, Ariana. (laughs) 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 What? I feel like that's really... You can't even say kill because you would go to prison forever because, like... Um... (laughs) <laughs> we broke Tom. We broke Tom. I'm, uh, I'm malfunctioning. <laughs> um, I'm gonna open God, the okay. cut. You have, you need here. You need this. You need this squish. Yeah, I do actually. This is yeah. This is I the time. This is, this is the time. Joke. If Let you've ever needed it, it's now. Second. Everyone, it's a game. By the way, it's just a game. It's a game. <sighs> oh man, I would say I have. Uh, you know what? This is easy, actually. Um, it doesn't seem like it's easy for you. I've known Lala the least amount of time, so I got to kill Lala. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Sheena's pretty cool, uh, but, you know, she's her OCD would get me. I would have to uh, – out, so I would I would fuck Sheena. And then I I know the situation with Ariana or whatever. I, I, I just, yeah, yeah. You'd marry because yeah. you literally probably yeah. – Because it's like, yeah. basically were. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I like the, the kill la la situation. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, just because I've known her the least amount. <laughs> I don't get who they are. So to me, this is extra funny because I don't I'm get it. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know who anyone is. But I also couldn't imagine fucking Shane. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> okay. Next segment. I could maybe, I could, I, I, there, you know, I could flip a coin on, on the Ariana and <clears> Sheena <throat> thing, you know, because I feel like we, could, we, me and Sheena could get along and coexist decently well. Okay, Sheena can get down. She's invited me to a threesome before, and I was like, "Yeah." Uh, you think that's chill or not chill? Like you're like, "Oh, she's cool because she did that." You're like, "Oh, she's weird because she did that." Like I don't do that I with most not, of my friends. I, I don't do threesomes, okay, especially same. with my friends. But okay, I like. Yeah, I mean, her man at the time like, was hot. Threesomes gotta be like kind of like, like there's gotta there can't be like it's gotta be space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gotta be space. It's gotta be a fucking large triangle if that's what's going on. It's gotta be space. An outsider. Yeah, an okay. outsider. Yeah, but it's even both outsiders is probably best, right? Never yeah, seen, no both. eye contact in the future ever again with that person. You know what or I mean? Or just like, hey, 
What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's why he doesn't go to the Perfect grocery store. Perfect yeah. yeah. interaction, Tom. Nice normal interaction. We love that. Exactly. Normal perfect. Yeah, gold star for Hat. Gold star for Tom, dude. Gold star for Tom. Which brings us right to the gold star. Okay, so gold star is a gold star moment. It's like our best moments of the week. So like instead of addiction, it's like your best moment. Obviously, I don't have a fucking gold star because my car got broken into. Oh, you know what? The flowers are my gold star. Like that. Oh, that okay, was good. Your, oh. But like something that happened that's positive. You know, like as a kid, you get like a gold star if, you <laughs> yeah. just, if something sweet, you know? <laughs> what, what? 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 No. I would say your gold star moment maybe is like, uh, I don't know. You like, I think your gold star moment was how you like helped me go through like a bunch of my old clothes and like get rid of stuff and like help me organize. So that being was really an assistant. Sweet of you. I did. Yeah. Um, I like literally. Assistant. I mean, no, no, she's just how thoughtful and helps I out. I like to and, help. Like, yeah. yeah. And she's like, you need, you got so much like clothes. Like, yeah. I Billy does to love to, to help. House. I literally. Love, yeah. <laughs> I love being of service. Um, it doesn't mean that I live there. No. <laughs> um, even though people are like literally DMing Billy me. Billy has her own place. But like, you, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's so I the house is kind of big and it gets I get like lonely being there. So I just like having like even having Josh like Josh just very recently started working for me again. So like I would just be by myself in this house and I just get like a little like I like Billy, if you want to come over and just like hang out and like uh, and she's like, yeah, I'll come over and like, you know, she come over and like do laundry or like, you know, like whatever and just hang out for a, like a bit and he doesn't like, use right. the kitchen so i'm always like cooking she something. literally goes with tom she goes between my apartment and your house those yeah. are like literally those are her two stops <laughs> yeah. yeah wait he doesn't you don't use your kitchen no no he he's eats like a dog that's what he, he, like he, yeah. Yeah. he uses yeah. the microwave okay <laughs> okay yo he eats he uses like a dog i, I can microwave the, the shit out of food <laughs> yeah no and he like puts Let's crunchies go. on top like yeah, you, do yeah. It, you do it you yeah do it. yeah no, no, i'm you just do kidding it, but like I, I yeah i just use the microwave pretty much that's it yeah that's <laughs> such a wild. dude we have You're two we have dude. an eight there's an eight burner viking stove two ovens like two dishwashers and you know what i love to it's cook, like so yeah like, it's like of course I... she's fucking using that yeah. dude yeah i would yeah. be there Especially every day cooking. exactly exactly yeah, so I, I'm glad we clarify that. Um, yeah. Billy does I, not live there. Billy does I'll, not live there. Well, I also like, like for instance, this weekend, I'll be in Sacramento for these two shows. Um, so I'll house it. I do house yeah. it. And I used to dog sit all the time. Like Cat sit. Before, yeah, before. So, yeah, I dog sit. Um, oh, love to see dogs. Dogs. <laughs> My mind's dogs. like. <laughs> By the way, I have a show here uh, at the Majestic in uh, Ventura on Friday. Ventura, and then, I'm going. Yes. Yeah, awesome. a bunch of us are going. And then Fun Saturday, uh, Saturday and uh, San Diego at the Music Box. So, oh, San Diego, you're doing Music Box? Yeah, Saturday. On Saturday. So That's the ninth, at ninth in Ventura here, and then and the tenth uh, in San Diego. I have yeah. no fucking clue what day. And then on yeah. the fourteenth, I'm in San Diego at the America. Uh, yeah, American you're Comedy headlining your show. I'm headlining. Oh, that's so fun. Valentine's yeah. Day show. And the fifteenth, the Swizer show. Adam Ray's headlining. Please come. Yo, we are booked and blessed. We booked are and busy. Yes. booked and busy, dude. I would be, yes. I would, I would be at the San Diego show, but I have a, uh, I have a Valentine's Day party. I have to do it. Schwartz and Sandy's. Schwartz and Sandy's. Yeah. Wait, I want to go to that. That's yeah. fun. Talk. I'm gonna, gonna be here. You yeah, come, I want to. Yeah, you could come and shred your ex and get a get a shot. Whoa, Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, Whoa. We have a, we're gonna have a shredder. Oh, you could shred oh, a picture of your ex. Okay, that's cool. My Persian ex boyfriend from ninth grade. I'll shred that one. Wait, what's his name? Maybe I know him. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. No one knows that one. <laughs> no one knows that one. That's an underground banger. This thing's like, yeah, man. I'm getting good at it. <laughs> You're getting good at it? I love I love the, the squishy shit. Get this. Yeah, get the boot. Get it on the get boot. The get the boot, dude. Get it on the boot. Did everyone do their gold star moment? Oh, um, um, no. Like, no. I got high and I'm like, uh. No, me too. I'm like, I don't even um, know. Um, Like the best thing that's happened to me this week? Or like, like maybe when do you I have did like your good... favorite set this week? Definitely not. Okay. Definitely nothing creatively inspiring <laughs> happened this week for me. You're like, um, this is the most creative I've felt in a fucking yeah, month is no. touching the boot. Yeah, touching the boot. Touching um, the boot. A gold star moment? Like something that I did that I'm proud of? I guess. If this is confusing, we can also... This is the first podcast. Like, we'll learn. Yeah. Okay. Like, this might be just a confusing thing that we might, like, not I mean, need to repeat. No, I like the gold star. It's like being of service. Did you do anything to help? Like, for instance, being I helped service. Tom. I think that's, you know, like... 
is there something that maybe you I'm not, I'm just a bad person. <laughs> yeah, right. same. Oh That's why God, it's hard no. for me. The Valley um, Girls. I uh, brought in my parents' trash cans because they're out of town. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's yes. fucking my gold star. No, dude. Okay. That's I gold star. That. No, no. That's legendary. That's insane. Yeah. Thank you. And that's part that's of the insane. game is like we have to find things like that. That way, so. They really appreciated that, I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's real. Shout out to Steve and Debbie. Shout yeah, out to Steve, Steve and Debbie. Debbie. Shout out Jill and John. Shout out Jill and John. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tom, did you give yours? Gold star? Um, I would say maybe like going, uh, I would say sending uh, soup to Victoria and her dad who are both sick or dad has COVID. Chicken right noodle, now. shout out. Yeah, but but also putting together a uh, very, very quickly putting together and organizing a watch party at Schwartz and Sandy's, which we're going to be doing every week, but like, you know, get, getting a projector, watch getting party a screen, for what? getting a de- Oh, for our show, for Vanderpump. Uh, for Vanderpump. We had oh, a oh, 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 okay. Uh, two days ago. I'm on, like, on I'm Tuesdays. Like, I'm such an idiot. I'm like, what show? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you know Vanderpump Rules is now airing. It's on it's on Tuesdays on Bravo. But um, it's okay, nice. uh, we put together like wa- a watch party really pretty quickly. Um, brought in like my sound guy Hassan. Shout out to Hassan. He's awesome. Shout out uh, Hassan. You said it was a good turnout, right? Yeah, it was a great turnout. Wait, the party already happened? Yeah, the yeah. Party, it's happening every Tuesday. At okay. Sports and Sandy's. Okay, People okay. Are, are addicted, literally. Um. Oh yeah, we have addiction too. But it, um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just really fast, we were talking about this. So you said that, like the first few episodes are going to be pretty bad for you, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're like, they're not going to be great. I mean, this overall is a very going to be a very heavy season for me. Uh, it's definitely the most divided. I feel like our the group has been in a sense, like definitely with me for sure. Um, and it's going to be a journey for everybody. Uh, this was quite the quite the uh the thing that that just sort of blew everything up like the scandal just like <clears throat> rocked uh everybody um you know here. what's fucked up is he has to watch it like basically you have to watch it ahead of time to talk about it and Ugh. he was like billy you want to watch it with me and i'm like why do i want to watch like, <laughs> fuck no people being shitty to one of wait, my best friends like, wait I also do you watch the show when it comes out like it. do you like watching it uh this season no, I don't. In uh, general, like though, like, it. do you like in general, watching yourself like, it on the do, TV? In general, it does give me anxiety. It do, you do get worked up. That's why I don't watch a lot of reality TV because I get a, a lot of secondhand know, anxiety. Same. Like, yeah. it's not. It's it's very intense for me because it's like I, I relate so much to the people on it, what they're going through, and like, see, I get secondhand embarrassment really bad. Like, um, so. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough, but I think people will see a journey, and it'll, you know, hopefully, you know humanize me a, a, a little more than what people have made me out to be I, you know more recently so yeah they yeah. will they, like I, I obviously was there while you were filming and i remember like it took time for these relationships to to work itself out and to heal and yeah. like you're gonna see that throughout the season obviously because i know you experienced it so sarah do you watch vanderpump i <laughs> just started after the scandal Okay. I my think mom, a lot of people say. I know yeah. so many people. My mom watches it. Debbie. Debbie. Like, Let's go, Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> Debbie got me into it. And so, yeah. So, I know about the scandal. Um, you're pretty chill. Thanks. Yeah, Tom's despite chill, Despite the dude. scandal. <laughs> Tom's chill despite like, the scandal. I don't know what he's going to be like. He seems pretty chill right now. <laughs> he's chill. No one with a mushroom fucking squishy necklace is not chill. You're wearing an aloe hat, dude. You're he's chill as fuck. He's got a lot of flair. We like flair. <laughs> you guys yeah, both have a flair. Yeah, nice to meet you. You guys are like too. doing a cool flair moment with your pants and crossed legs right now. Hell yeah, dude. It's cool flair energy. I love it. I Thank watch you. Love on the Spectrum and Love is Blind. Those are the two that I care I've about. I've heard a lot of good things about Love on the Spectrum. Oh, it's I watched so it good. It's so it good. Day. No, me and Billy are addicted. That's addicted, addicted to that yeah. show. Love on the Spectrum addicted. is, it makes you believe in love. A hundred percent. Except, wait, what's the one that's kind of a hoe, Danny? I don't know. I haven't one of the girl. girl. Yeah, one uh, of the yeah, girls yeah, on yeah. it is a little bit. She's, she's playing games. She's like, like she plays games with the boys. I like that. Danny plays games. I want to have one of them on for sure. But Let's yeah, she it. definitely asks like. Let's have all about Abby. Sex. Abby's my favorite. Abby and David. They're the hottest okay. couple I've ever seen in my okay. life. I'm addicted yeah, to Abby point, and David you know? are sick. Yeah. Um, Do you have a favorite couple from Love on the Spectrum? Uh, I can't think of like their names offhand. Okay. Just the vibes. Cause I, yeah, just the vibes. Just the vibes. The vibes in general are 10 mm-hmm. out of 10. Uh, Tom, I feel like you should watch it. Because it's like so lovey dovey and cute, and I feel like it's so good. That's where you're at right now. It's just lovey dovey cuteness. 
with your mm. situation. <laughs> Billy thinks you're on the spectrum. She's like, you should watch no, it. Not, like, no, She's like, you should really watch the show. I think it's going to be really helpful for you. You should watch it's the show. It's so romantic. It's cute. Yeah, I don't know. She wants you to watch it because it's romantic. Like There's shit. not another underlying reason. That's why you should no, watch the show. No, it's literally Tom. romantic. And also, he's in a little romance situation right now. It's cute. I like it for you. You yeah. deserve happiness and love. Yeah. As we all do. Gold stars. Gold yes. stars. Billy's so spiritual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you all for coming by, though. Yeah, oh, thanks for thank having you. me. So Literally, fast. we're great. This is our first Woo! fucking podcast, you guys. Yay! We did Tom, it. How can we find you guys on socials? Uh, Tom Sandoval one across the board. Although my Twitter's been hacked, <gasps> but I've heard that uh, if you want some really good like crypto advice, you can go on my Twitter. <laughs> Fuck yeah, up, Tom. Maybe? I've I should have said this at the top that I hacked your Twitter. Ah shit, it was <laughs> you. I'm sorry, dude. It was me. Well, Jews love crypto. Pick. That's what it is. Yeah. Jews yeah. love crypto. Back when it was porn <laughs> of it's been crypto. hacked for like. Ever. Yeah, it was me. Okay, we're gonna need it's to get like two on years that. at least. Who goes on Tom, Twitter anyway? for two years, it's yeah. been it's hacked. X now, guys. This is how it's much I miss Oh, it. it's called X. It's not even Twitter anymore. Oh, X. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did that out. This I did that out. We're gonna Twitter. get canceled. Yeah. We're gonna get canceled for that. It's called X. Yeah, Sarah, where, where can we find you? Can you can find me at Princess Shank on Instagram and Twitter. You can find me on This Bitch Podcast yes. every Monday. Um, where podcasts play, and then Shank every Wednesday, and then. Come to the This Bitch and Friends show on March 14th at the Comedy Store. We'll be there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we wanted your podcast, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck that yeah. That sounds amazing. Oh, also, yes. you can, uh, I have uh, Everybody Loves Tom podcast on every Thursday, and then um, uh, Vanderpump Rules every uh, Tuesday on Bravo, and yeah, and then you can go to Tom Sandoval and the most extras .com for uh, concert tickets and uh, shows coming up, upcoming tour. Thank you. That's Thank you. Amazing. And guess what? You'll you'll catch us every Wednesday. <laughs> every yeah. Wednesday, the great. craziest day of the fucking week. <laughs> hump day. Hump day. How do we get hump day. I don't know. No, I don't know, but my vagina is excited. <laughs> uh, There's kid in the name. We can't have it on fucking hump vagina. day. That's fucked. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for stopping by, Billy and the kid. Presented by Jam in the Van. <gasps>